All right, it's uh, Sunday before Memorial Day here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas, and uh, we have a clutch. We have a very nice clutch. We have a double het, and she is het for caramel albino, and she's het for hypo. We bred her with a caramel glow, which is a hypo caramel, a visual. So we have a good chance of getting caramel glows, which are caramel hypos, visuals, and that's what we're shooting for here. She's a little nasty though, and uh, I think she's very protective of the eggs when I opened up the tub. So I'm gonna show you my new technique. My new technique is to mark the top of each egg because the last clutch I pulled, I twist, I turned the eggs and I lost the orientation. And I hope I didn't screw up any, but we're not gonna do that this time. I have a new technique now. So let's go in here, let's see. I'm pretty sure she's pretty done. She's got a nice little clutch of eggs there. How I get her off is gonna be uh, anyone's guess though. I haven't figured it out yet. I do have my gloves. She must just Probably like you. should take my, um, my stick here, and she's being very protective of these eggs. We don't want to spook her too much, and we certainly don't want to screw the eggs up. So let's let me see what I can do here. I'll pretend she's like a poisonous snake. Let's put her down here. Okay, she's a beautiful looking female for a non-visual. Once again, she carries the uh, caramel albino and she carries the hypo gene. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that nine eggs I count, mm -hmm. Amanda? Nine eggs. So that's one of our biggest clutches we've ever had. I think we had ten once. I'm going to mark each one with a little dot. So we know this is the upright orientation because you do not want to turn these eggs because there's an air spot here. And that little air spot on the top is how the exchange of oxygen takes place from the environment to here and then through that little air spot into the blood vessels, which then oxygenate the embryo that's growing in there. So we don't want to spin that. Now I have a feeling we're just going to take this all out in one big shot here. Um, let's, let's get our egg box here so we don't drop anything. We have our hatch right in here, which is the perfect moisture so we don't have to worry about adding any liquid to it. I got my little Tupperware container here. I have it marked with the, the, the parents when it was laid and when I project the hatch date will be, which is about 58 days. We're going to take this whole little mess of eggs here, which is stuck to the paper towels. We're going to try to get that off of there very carefully. This is, looks like a really, really nice clutch of eggs. I don't want to jinx myself, but it looks very healthy. doesn't look like there's any slugs here, any bad eggs. We're going to take the whole thing and we're going to put it right into here. We're not going to even support it and get it nice and... Okay. And we're not going to... I'm not going to try to separate anything because I don't want to rip any of the eggs. There's no need to. I have plenty of room in my box here. We're going to cap this up. We're going to put some cellophane over the top to keep the moisture in. And we're going to put it in our new hot box incubator, which uh, Chris at Sea Serpents sent me just recently. I'm super psyched about it. I can get a lot of these boxes in here now. I've got plenty of room, no jamming stuff in, all in the same box. So this is the double head female. Okay, we're looking for caramel glows in 58 days. When these things hatch, we'll let you know what comes up. Dave Palumbo from Muscle Serpents University and Palumbo's Pythons and Boas.